Hello and welcome to Next Day Solar. In this short video, we're going to show you how to build the solar powered lighthouse. Now, the one that I've made earlier. And what's amazing about this lighthouse is that it takes energy during the day. And then when it gets dark, there's a light sensor inside and the lighthouse will start flashing and come to life. So pop this next to a window, anywhere in a bright area, ensure the light is able to hit the solar panel. And then as it charges during the day, there's a rechargeable battery inside. And at night, as if by magic, the lighthouse will start to pulsate. And we'll show you at the end of this video how it looks. There's a nice on and off button as well. So if you wanted to charge the lighthouse for many, many days and turn it on, you can do that as well. Which gets people talking about solar and sustainability, which is what we love. So without further ado, let's get started and see what's inside the kit. So as we open the kit, we'll find a number of components. Now these are all the small components. You've got two sets of pieces here, got the large pieces for the lighthouse itself and the smaller pieces there. So we'll just start by removing them all from the wooden frame. Now they just pop out nice and easily. If anything doesn't come out too easily, um, you can just use a very small flathead screwdriver to help you just to apply pressure in the points. You don't want to apply too much pressure, you don't want to damage any of the components. Now there are lots of small circles, don't be too eager to throw anything away. You will need them for part of the kit. Right, we're ready to start building the kit. Um, we'll move on. I'll just show you the electric components that come with the kit. You get a very large solar panel, which has kindly been pre-wired up for us. You've got your on and off switch and your LED light. Those are two important components. A very small circuit board, um, which we'll plug the different components into with a very small processor, which tells the lighthouse to turn on when it gets dark. We've got our rechargeable battery. And then for now, I'll just leave the contents of the bag inside safely, which is the small gold screws and the small nuts. I'll just leave them safely to one side. Okay, fantastic. So we're ready to start building the kit. So the first thing we're going to do is take our small circuit board and just place it onto the main piece. Okay, so we'll now need our two screws and we'll place the screws from underneath. Just pop one out, it's one screw and one nut. Now well, what we want to do is just take the screws from underneath, poke them through and I'll do the other screw as well. I'll just pop that second screw through there like that. So you can see the two screws. I'll just place that firmly down on a nice surface and that will allow me to add the nuts and just use your fingers to tighten it. It doesn't need to be over tight. Great, so the next part of the kit is to add some glue onto these two components here. So we'll just add a little bit of glue and that gets placed firmly. This is the area where the battery is going to be contained. So these essentially are the battery holders. Okay, now we're going to take the sticky pads out. Now there are two sets of sticky pads, I'll just show you. There's the larger pads and they're not for now, they're for fixing the solar panel on. And then there's these smaller pads which are for now and they are for fixing on the sides of here. Pop it on there and remove the peelable side. And it can be a bit tricky and you will need five fingers for it. Next we're going to get our battery contacts. We're going to insert them into the battery holder. Now it's very important you get the right ends, the red being the positive. Just position that down that end and your cutout will come into play now. So, I've taken my positive and my negative and I've placed them, and now I'm ready to apply some glue. Then we're going to insert the board connector into our circuit board. Great, so I've got my positive, my negative, and my connection. Now I'm ready to move on to the solar panel, and then I'll take my two foam pads. Now this is a nice four volt solar panel, but one at the top, just avoiding the connections there and one at the bottom. Now, of all of the legs of the lighthouse, you're going to need this one with the hole on the top. We're going to take our switch, we're going to pass it through, and then we're going to need the two nuts uh, that are remaining from the kit. And just ease them through gently, and you may have to adjust the switch a little bit on that side. My first one's done, probably going to get my first nut on there and just start spinning around. The next step is to take our LED light and pass it through this piece here, which is the top of the lighthouse. So you can just take the LED light and just gently, gently push it through. We're going to apply our solar panel. So our solar panel is here. We're going to take the outward facing piece of the lighthouse, We're going to pass our cables through there and fix our solar panel in place. And I'm happy to remove the plastic and place them on. Just ensure that your contacts are sticking out of the back and on the front, your solar panel's in a nice horizontal position. Right, we're going to get our base of our lighthouse, we're going to place it down, and then we're going to fix our battery uh, system. Just check, there are two markings and cutouts there. Just apply some glue down the edge, pop that in there. 
like so. Then we're going to wire all the other elements into the circuit board. Now there's only two connections we've got, one for the solar panel and one that's connecting the switch and the light. So I'll just gently plug them in. Now don't force them in, there's a line that will show you where they should go. Just gently ease them in. So now we've got our solar panel connected to our switch, connected to our light, connected to a very, very small circuit board which is connected to our battery. Okay, we're now ready to start fitting the various slats of the lighthouse. Now, the windows are all located at various different points, and that is very important because there are certain positions. So the first one we're going to do is fit the solar panel, and that solar panel sits directly opposite the light switch. So we're going to get some glue, just apply it at the base edge, just place that in there. So we're now ready, and I've organized my panels in the right order according to the manual. We're going to work our way clockwise around the lighthouse. So I'll take my first piece, and I'll just slot it in. You don't need to glue it at this point. Ease it in with a little bit of wiggle and it will happily fall into position. Then we'll take the next piece, C, and this ensures that your windows are all at different points as if someone was walking up the lighthouse with the entry point at the bottom. Great, so we now put our roof on and we're going to line them up and we're going to go in the second slot. In this part's quite tricky, so adult supervision is recommended. And you're going to position all of the top points into this board here. Now if you do find it quite challenging, which I found to get all the pieces on, what I would suggest you do is flip it over and do it in a different way. Now you want to follow the same formation, so I'm going to invert mine like that and I'm going to start piece by piece. So I'll take that piece out and I'll just push it in piece by piece and I think this is a much easier way of constructing the lighthouse and just gently rock forward and back, forward and back. Okay, now we've got this arrangement here and I'm going to slowly fit the lid on top. Okay, so our lighthouse is almost complete. We're going to take the windows and the, the start to build that up. So just pop a dollop of glue either side to so just gently ease in. Now if you want, you can use your fingers just to ease in the windows if that will help. So just place your finger in the window and just rock forward and back. There we are, so all our windows are in, and then we'll move up. So I'll just pop some glue, and then we'll take this circle and pop it on. Fingers just apply a little bit of pressure and a little bit of wiggle room, and you'll find that all nicely pop into place. Okay, we're ready to build the roof. Glue around the outer edge. So we'll place the first piece on top, and just go ring by ring, and you've got the line there, which will guide you where to pop your glue. Just go around, almost there. Great. So that's the top done. We'll just add the balcony so no one falls off the lighthouse. Just with a dollop of glue, just add in your balcony. So just work your way around. Now, what I would normally do is allow it to dry for about 10 minutes and then take your battery that's included and there's a lovely hole at the bottom here and just pop that in to the base like so. And then what we can do is we can turn the lights on and off and when the battery has been charged by the solar cell, the light will turn on and activate. Now, we've dimmed the lights in the studio here, and what you can see is your solar lighthouse pulsating. Now, obviously as the battery is charging during the day, taking energy from the solar panel, as it gets dark at night, it will start pulsating and giving that lovely warm glow. And what a great night light to have next to bed. Well, there we are, we've demonstrated the solar powered lighthouse, a nice kit, certainly for advanced builders, now you can decorate it, design it, paint it. It suggests that you really get creative and make this your own very special product. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.